I'm Evie Kim Singh, editor of IdentityWeek.net. We're here on the first day of Identity Week America. I'm talking to Neil Latter, who's Assistant Administrator for the Transportation Security Administration, who's given a keynote this morning. Um, it's lovely to speak to you. Um, I wasn't in that presentation this morning. My first question is, how are you planning to develop uh, TSA PreCheck? How is that evolving? Sure, absolutely, great question. Um, TSA PreCheck is growing and expanding on a regular basis. I mentioned today uh, we had four million new enrollments just this year, um, which was well beyond we've ever ever achieved. So with that, one thing that we do is we use the money, the fees that are collected, um, to do innovation. And so we're putting about $25 million into innovation funds to look for the next, next series of advancements for the technology. Um, how does it make it faster to go through the checkpoint? How is it consistent uh, to make your experience every time through the checkpoint? So we're, we're doing a lot of investment as we, as we move forward. And we're always trying to balance security with the user experience. Have you achieved that through you know, biometric touch points across the facilities that you have? Yeah, historically, we, we've always thought that security and, and customer service kind of did not go hand in hand. Um, and now what we're finding is we can actually get, achieve both at the same time. So security for biometrics, uh, we can put in place and also customer facilitation. So touchless, frictionless travel experience uh, and still have the maximum amount of security knowing that the identity of the person that we have with us. Um, you spoke about the commitments you've had, the legacy commitments you've had since 9-11 happened. How have these changed, how they've been delivered up to the present day? Yeah, so I, I did in the keynote today, I did talk about our, our work with the FBI, which has been pivotal, and they've been a great partner for us. Uh, and the use of their biometric matching technology, uh, looking at any new criminal history. So they've, they've created a service called Wrapback, uh, in which you enroll an individual into a system, and any new criminal history data uh, that comes back will go back to the adjudicator, back to us, to, for a real-time adjudication uh, and security, and then allows us also to facilitate renewals of that ap person's application too. So that's been a legacy agreement that's just been expanded uh, with us in the FBI. And that transforms the data sharing agreement between travel and, and authorities. And um, so just expand more about that relationship with the FBI. Sure. Um, yeah, so we, we work with them on a regular basis. Um, we've also looked at such things as contactless fingerprint capture. So can you take a phone and take a, and, and take a picture of your fingers uh, to use for submission uh, to the FBI for a background in, in, uh, investigation? Um, and, and we've looked at that and they've, they've expanded that for us um, and they're willing to test it out and pilot with us. So that's an, another area that we've done a lot of, a lot of uh, innovative work on. That's brilliant. Um what are you excited to explore at the conference today? Digital identity. Um, I think that seems to be a theme throughout. Uh, there's a lot of use of digital IDs. Uh, we've now expanded our checkpoints at TSA uh, to allow the acceptance of digital IDs to be processed. Um, and so I'm sort of excited to see that. Instead of having to carry your, your physical ID with you, you can carry your phone, which we know everybody carries a phone. Sometimes they don't necessarily have their their physical credential with them. So we think that's the that's sort of the future and that'll help us with future programs such as Real ID and the implementation of that. Which is expected 2025. 2025. May of 20 May 7th, 2025. So this conference is coming just in time. Um, it's great to speak with you, Neil. I hope you enjoy the the rest of the day. Thank you very much.